Free Forbearance Course Tip 3. Consider your source. I've always been a great history buff when it comes to rags and riches stories. I like to know how other people pulled themselves up by their bootstraps and made a fortune. I remember going to the library and looking at other biographies of great people in history. I ran across a book about John Rockefeller. Here was a man that took a very simple idea and created a dynasty out of it. While reading the book, I read a quote by Mr. Rockefeller that forever changed my life. I always try to turn every disaster into an opportunity. I was at a point in my life where things were not going quite so well. I had just gotten out of the army and wanted something more out of my life. I didn't have a job, but I wanted to travel, have nice cars, a big house, you know, the usual stuff. There was only one problem, I didn't have money. While I was sitting there in the public library, reading this tremendous book about John Rockefeller, I had this revelation, I can turn my life around. I pulled out some other reference books that wrote about great people in history, and I came upon a theme. The reason over 90% of the American public struggles financially is because they follow the crowd. They assume because everyone else is working or investing in a particular area that it must be a good deal. My goal in this book is to open your mind to a new way to make money that it will also put you in the game to win. To win, you need to be focused on what investments or ways of making money are creating the most assets for you. Another common theme I found was that even though all of these people kept telling Mr. Rockefeller that it could not be done, he did not listen. In fact, it made him even more determined to prove everyone wrong. He did just that and left all the way to the bank while doing it. I found that whenever I tried something new, my friends family and associates would tell me that it could not be done, that perhaps it was illegal, that I would lose money. I found that these are all words of the uneducated and the cynical. If someone is not familiar with a type of investment, they often try to put it down, rather than they appear like they do not know anything about it. There is a great saying that goes, consider your source. I slowly started to learn that life is really a big game. Now, don't get me wrong, I still take life seriously and there are some very important issues in everyone's life. I just slowly started to realize that I have a certain role that I am playing in life and it is up to me to gain more skills, knowledge, and tools to learn how to play the game to the best of my ability. Do you remember the first time you ever played a game? I do. I lost. I lost very quickly. It was a simple game of checkers, but because I didn't understand the rules, I could not play very well, and soon lost all my pieces. As I gained more scale of the game, I started to look at strategies that could give me a competitive edge to win the game. I started to read books and play the game a lot. I finally became very good at the game, and my confidence grew as a byproduct. To make progress and pay to win, you first need to step, not leap, out of your comfort zone. The first part of stepping out is to educate to save yourself. The second step is to analyze the possibilities. The third step is to do it. But like John Rockefeller, I didn't have any money to get started. As a matter of fact, I did not even have an idea. I started to read books on investments that would allow me to start small or without any money. I finally ran across this idea of defaulted paper as a way to get myself out of the position and life that I was in. I found a unique niche where I could make money, where there was virtually no competition, and my income was only limited by how well I paid the game. I used it to provide a very comfortable living for my family and me. In this tip series, I'm gonna show you how exactly how to do the same thing. 
As you will see, there's nothing fancy about the system. It's the street smart knowledge I've gained over the years, packed into this email. No gloss paper or pictures here. Just plain, simple common sense approach to making great money. What will I show you here isn't hypothetical or circumstantial. It's real. The nuts and bolts secrets of how I make money in a little known industry. Free foreclosures, also known as bad debt, is a bit misleading, as you will soon find out. All you will do is simply put into motion the procedures that enable you to make great sums of money. Quite simply, it is the best way of making money I know. It is a business that you do not need any money to get started. If you have money, that's great, but it's not required. Outside of some basic marketing to let people know that you are in business. I'm proud of what I've done over the past 15 years. I built strong business. Over the years I have been in this business, I have learned that I really enjoy watching other people become successful and make a lot of money from what I have to teach them. I guarantee that you will learn how to make as much money as you want, even if you do not have any money to get started. Just imagine yourself like John Rockefeller when he got started. He did not have anyone to show him what to do and what not to do. Because you are reading this book, you are different. You have already proven that you have the desire to improve your life and your financial condition. You are about to learn how to make a tremendous amount of money from a resource that is boundless and is virtually untapped. If you have money, even better. I will show you how to get returns on your investments at a rate you have only dreamed about. I'm going to change your life. These techniques that I'm about to teach you are very real and very powerful and absolutely will change everything about your financial life. It will help you change it. I know, it changed my life.